Hey everybody, it's Ravenways. Welcome to my channel. This is my beautiful selenite crystal. And I'm not going to smash my crystal like Doreen suggests. Doreen Virtue in some of her videos suggests that people who have crystals should smash them or not sell them because if you do, uh, it'll encourage people to become pagans or lost New Agers or whatever other crap she's talking about. Uh, I'm not going to do that. To me, um, selenite is, it, it, it is, to me, it's a protective crystal. I feel closer to the earth which is a good thing because the earth needs a lot of love right now, considering what it's experiencing. Okay. And I feel closer to the goddess. Um, I use my crystal for all sorts of things just to feel grounded and protected. And I keep them all over my house. And they're really a big part of my spirituality. And I have every right to practice my spirituality. I do not like to watch you know, um, judgmental videos. I don't like seeing them on YouTube, like, you know, with Doreen Virtue and her fear-based Christianity and her judgmental videos in which she claims that my spirituality just doesn't count. And that really hurts me and it hurts the community. And I don't care if it's her opinion or not. It's a hateful opinion. And it, you know, you should really avoid it. If you're a Christian out there and you're looking for, I don't know, you're looking for something you don't know what, and you end up on Doreen's channel, Doreen Virtue's channel, I just want to let you know flat out that Doreen Virtue is a judger and she's promoting fear-based religion, okay? Now, I'm not a Christian, but I can tell you um, for sure <laughs> that Doreen Virtue did not write the Bible, okay? Uh, the way she speaks in her videos she sounds like she's written the like she's written the Bible, that it's something that she's written. And it's like she thinks that God is speaking through her. She's behaving in that way. And she's not in that in any position to be like that. OK, and also she keeps all of her comments turned off, which means that she doesn't fear God. Uh, she fears people and she should really be more honest and more open and put the comments on and see what people really feel about her words. But if you're someone who's, you know, going to her channel um, and asking questions about your faith, whatever it may be, Christian, pagan, new age, understand that Doreen Virtue didn't write the Bible. Um, a lot of the things that she says are very judgmental. And according to Christianity, you shouldn't be judging people. I mean, you know, this is something only God can do according to, um, you know, the, the, the Christian Bible. Only God can judge, not people. And she's out there judging people. And that's not her role as a Christian. Okay. And I can't believe I'm saying this as a pagan, uh, letting people know um, what her role is. But basically, it really upsets me when um, Christians get on their high horse and behave as if the Bible is something that they have written. They Doreen didn't write that Bible, okay? It's open for interpretation. Now, I noticed that some of her videos, she says that this is her opinions, blah, blah, blah. But the way she speaks, she's speaking in a way that I don't think is appropriate for Christians or anyone. Do you know, she's, she's really, um, you know, she's telling people to smash their beautiful crystals. Why would you do that? This is from the earth. The earth is sacred, especially, um, you know, in the pagan tradition that I follow. And it hurts me to hear that someone is on YouTube saying, smash your crystals or don't give them away. Or don't sell them because they'll influence people in an evil way. Now, I know that there's a lot of people on my channel that say, cat, give it up. Um, that isn't true. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like, I, I just find that there's so many people that are turning to Doreen Virtue, um, for her so-called wisdom, and they should be actually turning to themselves and their relationship with the creator before they turn to her. Okay. Just be very careful on her channel. She's very judgy. And I'm really concerned about the things that she's telling people. I think the things that she's telling people, uh, isn't really fair, um, it's very biased. All the people that she interviews on her channel have been obviously like, um, you know, handpicked by her because they're not people that are going to disagree with her. They're people that hold the same, um, you know, uh, fear-based Christian uh, traditions that she does. And this is unfortunate. I, I just think that, you know, you need to be careful when you're watching her videos. Okay. Now I know that uh, this is going to stir people up a bit, but I don't really care. Um, I really think that 
If you're promoting fear-based Christianity on YouTube, you should be challenged because there's enough fear in this world. And I think there's, um, you know, I think that we need to change our approach to, um, to God or to the creator, or to the goddess or to whoever is beyond the veil. Okay. We need to have respect for each other. And when she talks about how evil people are, um, for, um, the relationship that they have with crystals or spirits and that kind of thing, I think that she's being too hard on people and she should really behave herself on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right. Blessings, everybody.